what's going on guys, Jeff from AGO Tech. You might notice behind me it looks a little different than my last video. It's because instead of having to make it into a couch every time, it just gets annoying. So I figured, just might as well do it behind my desk. I mean, come on, let's look. There's not a lot of lights. So, let's start into some tech news for this week. So, the new movie, The Last Jedi, is going to be in theaters soon. So, OnePlus being OnePlus had to make a Star Wars limited edition phone. Which will debut in India on December 14th, the day before the movie comes to theaters. The phone is decorated with Star Wars logos on the back, and the side button is a scarlet red. There are also some seems to be a Star Wars theme on the device as well, with the promotional picture showing a First Order Stormtrooper wallpaper. The Verge also gave the regular OnePlus 5T an 8 out of 10 in their review. The video promo for the phone shows that Kylo Ren was picking up a his lightsaber, which dissolves into the new Star Wars phone, implying that it can cut through Jedi flesh like any energy sword. The ad also says it's strong enough to rule the galaxy in India December 14th. OnePlus will be hosting a launch party for the phones in Madhabi. Tickets will be available for purchase on December 7th. There's no word yet on the price or if the Star Wars phone will be available in other countries. So this is interesting seeing smartphones making limited editions and what they are, like this one with Star Wars. Then like the Titan X's, they made a Star Wars themed graphics card. So, I mean, it's pretty interesting and I think it's cool. But I just wonder how much it's going to cost. Is it going to be like the Titan X and cost as much as it would regular? Or I imagine this is going to be more expensive than the regular price. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Apple just released a new update, so let's talk about it. A week ago, Apple released a new update. For iOS Sunday, just hours after the bug, Apple made a new update to their iPhones. Let's talk about it. A week ago, Apple released a significant iOS update Sunday, just hours after an iOS bug started crashing their phone iPhones. A bug in iOS 11.1.2 started causing iPhones to crash if third-party apps using recurring notifications for things like reminders. Apple normally releases iOS updates on Tuesday, but they seem to release this one early, so iOS 11.2 must be really important update. The update includes Apple Pay Cash and US Apple needs new peer-to-peer -peer payments service. Apple Pay Cash will be available inside the messaging app once servers are live, though, and allows the iPhone users to send money through iMessage, like Venmo. Cash is then deposited on a Apple Pay Cash card instead of the wallet app on iOS 11.2 and can be used to purchase goods through Apple Pay or transferred to a bank account. At iOS 11.2 also introduces fast wireless charging for the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 models. The update introduces 7.5 watt speeds through QI based charging pads. The new update will also be coming with live wallpapers for the iPhone 10, which are new ones, along with some pop-ups that explain why the control center Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles has changed. So I recommend if you haven't got this update, you need to go get the update like right now. Like stop watching this video. I give you permission this time. Just go update it. So you thought smartphones were out of this era? Well, you guessed wrong. So let's talk about the new flip phone because I think it's really interesting. Samsung has unveiled a new luxurious expensive flip phone in their launch event last Friday in China. It was called Samsung W2018. The W2018 is the latest addition to Samsung's W line which gets updated with a flip phone every year. It's also their 10th anniversary of the W series lineup. It's still surprising and popular lineup in China. They are priced higher than the typical Samsung global flagships like the SA and note 8, Samsung claims it has a 12 megapixel cam rear camera and that it can capture sharp images and less light areas than the cameras on the rivals can. I don't know if some of their rivals are smartphones though. It wouldn't surprise me if their rivals, they meant just flip phones though. It's a 5 megapixel front camera too. It will launch with Android Nougat instead of the Android Oreo OS. It will have a 4.2 inch full HD AMOLED display on the front, also a 4.2 inch Full HD inner display. It has a directional pad and a number keypad where the fingerprint scanner beside the rear camera, like other Samsung models, 
and a Bixby button for voice assistance. Even on a flip phone, they're adding Bixby. It will also come with a Snapdragon 835 processor with 6 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of storage with a 2300 milliamp battery. Samsung says that the W2018 buyers will get also get perks like carnage help at airports, subways, free software tech support, and a hotline just for VIPs. The phone will be released in China first, and the price is yet to be announced, but we can guess it might be around a little higher than W2017's price, which was a whole whopping $3,000, guys. Oh my god. We thought the, like, the iPhone 10 and the Note 8 were overpriced. I guess we're wrong. Samsung made a three thousand dollar flip phone. Oh my! Makes my brain hurt, Samsung. I'm gonna continue to tell you about the battle between Apple and Qualcomm. Qualcomm wants to ban some iPhone 10 sales in the U.S. Three new lawsuits claim that Apple is infringing 16 Qualcomm patents with the iPhone 7, 8, and 10, as well as their Plus models. Many of the patents cover technology that improves battery life, but they're focused on additional smartphone tech. In one case, Qualcomm says Apple is relying on its patent technology to create the iPhone's portrait mode effect. He lawsuits asked for unspecified payments of, from Apple for the unproven patent infringement and for the court to make Apple stop using their technologies. Qualcomm goes further in a claim with the U.S. Institu International Trade Commission, according to the San Diego Union Tribune, where it asked for imports of the iPhone 10 using modems from its rival Intel to ban to be the banned, which could would prevent a device being sold on AT&T and T-Mobile unless Apple starts buying modems from their those phones from Qualcomm. This legal dispute started at the beginning of the year after a Federal Trade Commission accused Qualcomm of anti-competitive behavior. Apple then filed a lawsuit making similar occasions and continued to make their claims in courts around the world. The real battle to, is to watch whether Qualcomm will have to change its overall patent licensing behavior or which could mean that the company will earn a lot less money off the sales of its modems, which is most likely why they haven't even started using Qualcomm modems yet. So, like I said, we all need to work together. So I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about Samsung, so I'm going to mention one more thing, and I'm sorry, but this one I thought was pretty sketchy, and you guys probably should know about it. So, Apple is looking into using some sketchy palm scan to help their remember their forgotten passwords. According to a patent that was filled November 30th, the 42-page patent states in Korean that first, users should take a photo of their palm using the rear camera in order to verify their identity. If the palm lines up and matches the previous records, then Samsung will display a password hand scattered across the lines so that you might be able to remember what your password is. Samsung already has iris scanner recognition fingerprint identification patterns, and also a pin for passcodes. Now they are going to make their list of methods even longer with palm scanning method. What do you guys think of the palm scanning method? Because I think it's really sketchy. Comment down below what you think of it. So if you guys like this video, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. Just subscribe down below. And also thank you guys for watching. And also my social media is linked down below. So you should go and follow me on those. And thank you again for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one hopefully.